Shemot, Exodus 16. And they took their journey from Elim, and all the assembly of the children of Yasharel came unto the wilderness of Syene, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month, after their departing out of the land of Mitzrayim. And the whole assembly of the children of Yasharel murmured against Moshe and Aharon in the wilderness. And the children of Yasharel said unto them, Would to Elohim we had died by the hand of Yahuwah in the land of Mitzrayim, when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill at this whole assembly with hunger. Then said Yahuwah unto Moshe, Behold, I will rain bread from the heavens for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my Torah or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare at that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moshe and Aharon said unto all the children of Yasharel at evening, Then ye shall know that Yahuwah has brought you out from the land of Mitzrayim. And in the morning, then ye shall see at the glory of Yahuwah, for that he hears at your murmurings against Yahuwah. And what are we that ye murmur against us? And Moshe said, This shall be, when Yahuwah shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that Yahuwah hears your murmurings, which ye murmur against him. And what are we? At your murmurings are not against us, but against Yahuwah. And Moshe spoke unto El Aharon, Say unto all the assembly of the children of Yasharel, Come near before Yahuwah, for he has heard at your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aharon spoke unto the whole assembly of the children of Yasharel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of Yahuwah appeared in the cloud. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, I have heard at the murmurings of the children of Yasharel, speak unto them, saying, At evening ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am Yahuwah Eloheikem. And it came to pass that at evening the quails came up, and covered at the camp, and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that was lay, rather, and when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the ground. And when the children of Yasharel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna, for they knew not what it was. And Moshe said unto them, This is the bread which Yahuwah has given you to eat. This is the thing which Yahuwah has commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating, an omer for every man. According to the number of your persons, take ye every man for them which are in his tents. And the children of Yasharel did so, and gathered, some more, some less. 
and when they did meet it with an omer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. And Moshe said, Let no man leave of it till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moshe, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stank. And Moshe was wroth with them. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for one man. And all the rulers of the assembly came and told Moshe. And he said unto them, This is that which Yahuwah has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy, holy Shabbat unto Yahuwah. At bake that which ye will bake today, and at seethe that ye will seethe, and at that which remains over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And they laid it up till the morning, as Moshe bade. And it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. And Moshe said, Eat that today, for today is a Shabbat unto Yahuwah. Today ye shall not find it in the field. Six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Shabbat, in it there shall be none. And it came to pass that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, How long refuse ye to guard my commandments and my Torah? See, for that Yahuwah has given you the Shabbat. Therefore he gives you on the sixth day the bread of two days. Abide ye every man in his place. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Yasharel called at the name thereof manna. And it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. And Moshe said, This is the thing which Yahuwah commands. Fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see at the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness, when I brought you forth from the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe said unto El Aharon, Take a pot, and put an omer full of manna therein, and lay it up before Yahuwah, to be kept for your generations. As Yahuwah commanded Moshe, so Aharon laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Yasharel did eat at manna forty years, until they came to a land inhabited. They did eat at manna, until they came unto the borders of the land of Canaan. Now, an omer is the tenth part of an ephah.